This is the theory of what's going on here. So imagine here we have an iron bar. Now, the theory goes that we've got, uh, the, well, that's, the theory is called domain theory. Each of the little pins represents a domain. How would you describe those domains? Give me a word to describe those domains, those areas within the iron. Speak up, please. Speak up. You, you can't think of any word to describe this. Anything that comes into your head. I'm going to wait for you until you say something useful. Spread out. Thank you. Shane? Look at it. Describe it. This is what I can put on. Yeah. I can't pause it. Sorry? Even. Spread out but even. Okay. Uh, let's say that the domains are equally spread out because the whole inside of the piece of iron is made up of domains. The domains here are they're basically like little areas inside the piece of metal. Yeah? They're like little towns. Ruben, give me a word to describe their layout. The layout. Yeah, just, or maybe not the layout, anything. Look, look at them. Messy. Messy. Good word. Any others want to throw a word in there? Sophia? Cluttered. Cluttered? Okay. Scattered. Scattered. Yeah, you want to. Um, not what? Like in order. So they're not in order. What's the opposite of not being in order? Give me some more words to describe messy and unordered. Unorderly. Very good. Any other words? So I say you want to help us out? Say playing the Vikings? Unorganized. Sense. Random. There's a word. Because I just dropped them on the table. So they're going to be random. Now, when you bring your magnet into contact with them, guess what you do? What's going to happen to these pieces? They're going to be attracted. They're going to be attracted to the magnet, but what else will we do? What do you mean taking away the domains? So you're saying that the needles will all go away? Not from under here they won't. What's the magnet going to do, Brian? Facing the same way. Sorry? Facing the same way. It's going to make the pins all face the same way. on paper it would work a little better. Still random? Yeah. Really? They're less random. Look at these ones, they're all lined up beside each other. What do you think, Tio? Have they aligned with each other? Some. I'm 
You did it 50 times. How many times have I done it? Look what, look what, they're, look what they're doing. Sophie. Well, they are being attracted to each other because it goes with what I'm doing with magnet. But are they random anymore? No. What way are they facing? They're all on the line with each other. Now the reason why I didn't come in from above like this is because they'll jump up and hit the magnet. And obviously that's not really what's happening to you really. Or is it actually? Because your iron does attract to the magnet. So they would do that, but it would ruin my model if I do this, because they all jump up and hit the magnet. I don't really want to do that. Now, this is what you have just done. You have caused the domains inside the magnet to align with each other. And you have created a magnet. Because in a magnetic material, the domains are all aligned in one direction. What do you think, Owen? Reasonable? How could you prove that this theory is Accurate. Well, you do it multiple times. Does that really prove that you know rubbing the magnet aligns them? What else could you do? What do you think, James? This lesson is about making a magnet and destroying a magnet. So, how would you destroy this magnet? Oh, heat it. What would heating it do? Um, it would break up the domains. Are you saying that heating it would make the domains scattered? It would become random again. Okay, interesting. Is there any other way that could cause the domains to become random again? Based on what I want to just say. Next. Mary. You analyze them by like from the back of the magnet. Like, you know, the way we have to do this the same way, like the node, which is from. Could you? Um, have you noticed that I frown at you when you drop the magnet? Yes. Smash it. Oh, so you smash it. Oh. Oh. You the guy who's doing that. I think that was quite an effective demonstration. Now, here's what you've got to do. First of all, make sure your magnets are still magnetic by proving repulsion. Then, set them on the floor, stamp the hell out of them 10 times, put them back up and test for repulsion. Go. Both of them.